Hey everybody, Roger here. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I want to talk to you guys today about something um, pretty important to me, and that is uh, veterans and anybody who has served uh, for this country. And my video is probably going to be about something that not a lot of people talk about, but should be talking about, uh, because this will shift things quite a bit in regards to casualties uh, and, and whatnot uh, within our within the military. So we have Veterans Day, Memorial Day, we have different holidays for veterans, and a lot of people go around saying, oh, you know, we thank you for your service, thank, the, thank our troops and whatnot. I do know, and again, this hashtag not all, but I, I do know a lot of friends who have served in the military, <clears throat> different branches of the military, and a lot of them do get annoyed. The vast majority of them get more annoyed by hearing, you know, uh, uh, thank you for your service. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's to them, to the ones that I know anyways, it's, it's, it's a very annoying thing for them to hear. And again, hashtag not all, I think truly deep down and, and inside, we, a lot of us, the majority of us do thank our troops for their service and their sacrifice, <clears throat> and, and that goes without saying. But here's the issue. We're not doing, as civilians, the majority of us are not doing our part to, <clears throat> to try to negate the amount of military personnel dying for, uh, for us to have $20 Frappa Mochaccino lattes uh, typing on our iPhones, our Androids, our laptops, <clears throat> um, driving nice luxurious cars or a uh, beat up car again. Uh, we're, we're, we're a privileged society. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have. It doesn't matter where you're at, who you are, <clears throat> etc. This country, this country is quite coddled, but um, we're able to do all of this we're able to have needless arguments about, you know, pronouns and whatnot and, and get mad about stupid shit like that um, when there are actually more important issues out there. Like, maybe try understanding history, try understanding civics, uh, try understanding the ways in, uh, of the world economically and militarily and, and uh, all the conflicts that have been arising because of our lack of understanding and our lack of um, uh, being responsible citizens voting the the right people in who will do their best, who would do their best if they were voted in or or administered into positions of power to deflect and reduce the amount of co global conflict. Um, that's the issue that I have. We have a lot of people serving and they are at the mercy of a society, the United States. They are at the mercy of a society that, um, that doesn't understand anything about history, that doesn't see that the uh, establishment, the oligarchy, uh, the politicians who are the puppets, <clears throat> the, the entertainers, the athletes, etc., they don't understand that these, that these, uh, 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 these, these modern day lazy influence, influencers, influences, influence people to not understand how these how these conflicts keep keep happening these conflicts keep happening because we keep voting the wrong people in because we 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 don't understand history we don't understand that conflicts are fabricated almost all the time just to go ahead and make um buck uh, make a buck or two uh gain power from from we the people <clears throat> by the few and at the mercy of all this at the, uh, uh, the people who are sacrificed the most are military personnel. So if you really want to thank a veteran, if you really want to thank uh, troops, you would start understanding history. You would do your best to get people in who are going to lessen global conflict and get less troops killed, get less of our, our um, uh, uh, branches of military killed. We don't we don't need to continually just say, oh, thank you for your service and whatnot, uh, but doing a lazy, fucking lazy ass job on on on, on doing what we need to do as civilians to make sure that there's less and less and less casualties. Um, we can have a strong military, and, and we do still. I mean, still the, the, the world's biggest global power um, combined military. But um, we don't need to needlessly keep voting in people who are going to just keep continuing these cycles of wars and conflicts, uh, getting our troops killed. If you really care about troops, if you really care about our troops, you would do what you can to make sure that you vote the right people in. All right, guys, and, and do your part to understand history and whatnot. So I, that's all I got. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, 
I'm very curious about this one. <laughs> uh, like, hey, subscribe, unsubscribe, share, don't share. I do love it all. Peace out.